Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Pre-Calculus Practice Problems Playlist. For the full problem and solution transcript of this problem, you can click on the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this problem asks you to find the partial fraction decomposition of the following expression. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 7 in the numerator, and then quantity x plus 1, and then times quantity x squared plus 4 in the denominator. So as we can see here, the, uh, the numerator we can't factor out, so we're going to have to use partial fraction decomposition right, right off the bat. And we know that the degree of the denominator is going to be x cubed, uh, which is greater than the degree of the numerator, so we don't need to do any polynomial long division to simplify anything. We can just head right into the partial fraction decomposition. Okay, so we need to find some... We need to find some a, b, and c in R. Right, so real numbers, a, b, and c, such that we have a over x plus 1 factor on the bottom plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. And I'm doing bx plus c instead of just b because we have an unfactorable, quadric, uh, excuse me, unfactorable quadratic, e, uh, quadratic formula equation here in the, in the denominator. So we need to use bx plus c instead of just b. Uh, and that's just all going to be equal to x squared minus 2x plus 7. Just copying from up here, x plus 1, x squared plus 4. Okay, great. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get a common denominator on the left-hand side by multiplying a times x squared plus 4. So a times x squared plus 4. And bx plus c times x plus 1. So we can have a common denominator and we can just combine everything into one fraction over here. So after we do that, we can just equate the numerators here. So I'm going to go ahead and not write the, of the denominators because once we get the common denominator, we're just going to have the same denominator here as here, so we can just equate the numerators to solve for a, b, and c. So we have a times x squared plus 4 plus quantity bx plus c times x plus 1 is going to be equal to here in the numerator x squared minus 2x plus 7. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and distribute out here. Uh, a times x squared is ax squared plus 4 times a is 4a, plus bx times x is bx squared, plus bx times 1 is bx, plus c times x is cx, plus c times 1 is c, is all going to be equal to, just same thing here, x squared minus 2x, plus 7. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, we uh, combine the coefficients for, for the x to the 0 term. So the, the coefficients, or the terms here without an x, we have here 4a uh, and c. So it looks like we're going to have 4a plus c is equal to, on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side here, we have 7, which is the uh, coefficient, which is the term with uh, x to the 0, is equal to 7. Okay, so now we're going to combine all of our x1 terms. Just cross those out there. So all of our x to the 1 terms is going to be bx uh, plus cx here. So we're going to have b plus c is going to be equal to uh, negative 2 here uh, because this is the x term on the right-hand side. You can just cancel out uh, those here because we already used them. And finally, the x squared terms. The x squared terms, we have a plus b is going to be equal to 1. Just taking out the coefficients from these terms. So a plus b is going to be equal to 1. Okay, great. I'm going to go ahead and erase this down here. So we need to find, um, okay, so now we need to solve for a, b, and c. So we can just kind of quickly uh, do this here. So solve the system of equations by, might as well solve for a. So, okay, so we're just going to do a is going to be equal to 1 minus b from the bottom expression here. We can plug that into the top expression. So 4 times a is 4 times 1 minus b, uh, plus c is going to be equal to 7. Uh, so 4 minus uh, 4b is going to, uh, plus c is equal to 7. So uh, we end up with 4b plus c is going to be equal to 7 minus, three is, uh, 7 minus 4 is 3 here. Okay, so now we have 4b plus c is equal to 3, and b plus c is going to be equal to negative 2. Uh, so, I'll just rewrite that from here. So we have b plus c is equal to negative 2. Uh, looks like we can just subtract, because we have c in, in this one and in this one, we can just subtract uh, the second one from the first one. So we're going to replace the second one with the second one minus the first one, and that is going to end up getting us 
4b minus b is negative 5b, c minus c is 0, and 3 minus a negative 2 is 5. So 5b is equal to 5. Therefore, we have b is equal to 1. Uh, negative 1, excuse me. Negative 1, because we have negative 5 and 5. So b is going to be equal to negative 1. OK, so now we can just kind of plug in our b value to solve for and c. So we know that a plus b is equal to 1. But we know that a, a b is equal to negative 1. So we can do a minus 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, a is equal to 2. OK, so now we have a and b, so we can solve for c. So we know from the first, exp uh, why don't we just use the second expression here? So we know that b plus c is equal to negative 2. But we know that b is negative 1. So negative 1 plus c is equal to negative 2. So we know that c is going to be equal to negative 1. Uh, negative 2 plus negative, negative 2 plus 1 is going to be equal to negative 1. OK, great. So I'll just rewrite, just erase this here. So we're left with, uh, we are left with a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, and c is also equal to negative 1. OK. So now we've pretty much finished all of the, everything that we need to do here. So we can write out, because recall that our original expression was uh, a over x plus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 4. Uh, and now we know a, b, and c. So we can just write that out as, I'll just copy this down here. Uh, because our, the goal of partial fraction decomposition is to re-express this as a sum of simpler fractions. x plus 1 x squared plus 4 is going to be equal to a, which is 2, over x plus 1 plus bx plus c. So b is negative 1. So uh, negative x plus c, negative 1 over x squared plus 4. And if we want to, we can just take out the negative 1 here and rewrite this entire thing as 2 over x plus 1 minus x plus 1 over x squared plus 4. So we have our partial fraction decomposition. And if we wanted to, we can check to make sure that this, these two expressions are equal by just getting the common denominator again, adding this, and confirming that this is indeed equal to, we have equality here from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. So for more of these pre-calculus practice problems, you can click on our playlist here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click this link here. Thank you for watching.